Hello, this is uh, Laura the Liquidation Lady, and I haven't posted in a while because I haven't really, it's been too hot to actually do much. You know, we had like 118 degree temperatures and it's hard to be in your storage unit for that, but today I'm coming to you from my home. And I have two boxes here. I have another box, but I'll just do these two today from liquidation.com. And they were, um, in a pallet that was had a lot of unmanifested items. And the joy in that is the manifested items are, they were good that made, enough to make me buy the lot. But when I picked it up, cause it had so much wrap on it, I couldn't see. There was also a $250 Little Tykes trampoline that was not uh, on the manifest. So that almost paid for the whole lot itself once I sell it because right now it's something that is mostly out of stock, so they, they're gonna sell really well. So these all came on the same um, palette. Some were manifested, some were not. And I did forget to get the um, the actual total, but I probably can if I need to. Uh, all right, so let's get to it. Now, uh, the consignment sale that I sell at four times a year, games, puzzles, they sell amazing. So any of that that I get in here, if I can't sell it online, go straight there and it will sell immediately. Um, this looks to be almost a new game of life. So that'll be a $10 at the consignment sale, which 30% of it goes to the sale. So $7 for me. But I'll try to sell it ahead of time where I can make more money except for what the um, like um, Facebook Marketplace or Macari takes. Here's uh, some baby hats, brand new, still in the packaging. So I'll probably sell those at the consignment sale for $3. Dolphin crayons, those are not expensive. They'll probably go in a lot of other um, arts and crafts stuff and go to the consignment sale. They're not expensive. Adventures. Iron Man. Mask. So, looks, looks to be... I don't see any scrapes or anything on it, so that's a good thing. These are just a waste of them putting them in here. They're missing the, the pin. They're just going with the trash or the 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 art and crafts lot. Oh, got a whole bunch of little stuff here. This is what Target does. They get a whole bunch of little stuff and they just chuck it in there. Oh, here's the parts of the game of life. I don't want to lose those. I'm glad they were in there. This appears to be a bicorn. <laughs> so that'll be, it's only a dollar. So that'll probably be a donation or in a lot. Um, here's a Disney princess. So That'll go in a girl's lot. Next thing. Doodle mat. Now all these things, I'm not gonna open them unless it's easy, accessible, but um, I do have to check everything and make sure that nothing's broken, missing pieces, because that does happen. People go in the store and they, they just want the crayon, so they just take the crayon out and, you know. So anyway, this is a doodle mat. And these are great because they keep the kids busy for a long time. Because you write on it and then it erases. Next thing is always a good seller, of course. Nerf. I could sell Nerf all day, every day, make my living on it if I had enough. Because they just they just sell. They just sell. I have a whole lot of them in my storage locker that um, I've been avoiding because of the heat. And we'll do that a double time right here with another one. And they're not overly expensive, but they just sell really well. Next thing is, oh, this is a good thing. Look at the Sesame Street characters. Those are going to go up online because I have no doubt that they'll sell right away. Sesame Street characters right on like that. Oh, here's a book. Oh, the peanuts. Oh, that's, this is a nice book. Look at that. 
and that'll go to the consignment sale because books sell. And it has a, a retail price of $15. So sold for eight, brand new. Oh, okay. And the Disney Princess coloring book, which is nothing expensive, but it will go in the Disney Princess lot with that other um, princess figure. Next thing is, this goes for the Glitter Girls, just a little outfit. So that might just go in a doll lot or something because they're hard to sell on their own. This always happens. Transformers, they always come in like this. And I have no clue how to do them. So I either have to sell them as is or I just have to donate them. And, you know, it's a shame. That's, that's a Build-A-Figure. Next thing is Frozen Tea Set. Brand new. So I probably can sell this for around $10 or $12 at the consignment sale. But I'll try online first because it is a summer-looking like item. All right. We're... Okay, this is just another bubble fan or something. Nothing big throw it away or put in a lot oh this this is a good item these are really good these are the what do, the skip hop uh, baby soothers and this one is portable you can hook it on to um, the stroller the um, the um, pack and play anything and it plays the, the white noise or the music it's it's that's a really good item and as you can see it's brand new so that is um, gonna be a good item for me Mickey Mouse lights up, plays music. I don't know. Looks like it has some, something. Maybe it's missing something. I don't know. But anyway, that's what that is. No big deal. Um, Beyblade, always another thing that sells really well. Very popular with the kids. Still, after all these years. light up jump rope that'll go with the girls a lot all this junk and the sad thing about it is okay so the items that are unmanifested which I don't know if those are or not they might have a manifest uh, price on my manifest because I didn't pull it up but the things that um, are unmanifested no matter if they're $250 like the trampoline or $1 like the jump rope they charge $15. So it all kind of equals out in the end, but I would like to see more $15 items than one or one to $3 items. This is, this is a two for here because I see two packages of the same thing. These are Munchkin bath bobblers. So that's, that's a good thing because there's two of them. So I can sell those separate. And make double the money. I'm trying to see what this thing is. It was upside down. Oh, that's funny. I just bought one of these, actually. I just bought one of these at Target on clearance for $5. The tie-dye tote bags. <laughs> so, I know I guess it's probably for $5. Okay, Funko Pop. This is Zombie Thor. They have covered up Marvel Zombies. That's zombie Thor. So I'll have to check that one out. It's probably not worth much. Oh, geez. <laughs> I got more of those bobblers. Let me skip those for now because the whole bottom might be filled with them. This is one thing I'll post right away is the Swimways baby raft. Keeps their, the sun off their eyes and everything. So I'll get that posted up right away. Bee toys. I always love the bee toys. Um, I don't know if it turns on or not. Or oh, needs new batteries. Looks like they had the, the um, on off button held down. But anyway, this is brand new. It just came out of the package is all. People had to let their babies look at it in the store or whatever. Okay, another doodle mat. Ta-da! 
And the nice thing about that is that you only have to list it once and just put quantities on Facebook. Um, little baby toy, it can pet, uh, match it up with some of the bath toy. And I hope everybody is, is good in your area. Um, I know there were some storms and I watched um, What the Hails on um, YouTube and they went through a hurricane. Well, Jeremy was there by himself, but we've had the most disgustingly hot weather here. It just feels like you walk out the door and your energy is just immediately just zapped out of you. It's really uncomfortable. So anyway, let's get back to it because I don't want to bore you. Disney baby animal stories, brand new, still wrapped. So that'll sell really well too, as a, maybe like a first birthday gift or whatever. And you know, this is the fun part. I haven't been buying these with the uh, miscellaneous boxes lately, but um, I'm glad that I did this time because I really, really enjoy doing it. And here is um, uh, our generation, it's the outfit, and she, it comes with a little pen and, and highlighter and some stickers, like back to school. You wanna believe I'm making a big, huge pile over here. Little Woodsies, the consignment sale, they eat these things up. Brand new, just this little bit of box damage. And if you haven't been to your um, Target lately, I know ours went through a remodel and they had tons and tons of toy clearance. A little hydration here, excuse me. Hope you're enjoying all my willow tree angels here. Another little woodsies. Oh, this is the family. Oh, that's a good thing. People are always looking for the families. Always. At a discount, of course. Just a little inexpensive truck. I don't know. Boys toy lot. Next thing up is, oh, Mr. Potato Head Retro. Well, we all know, if you haven't if you haven't heard, they're getting rid of Mr. and Mrs. So this will be something I'll probably keep if it's complete because you won't be able to find these anymore. People were buying them up like crazy. Excuse me while I dive in here. Well, I may as well get this out of the way. More bath toys. Another one. Another one. Another one. A single. And, I, and like I said before, the nice thing about these is there's two to a pack and they'll charge me for one. So therefore, I'm still getting double on those, whatever I make. Enough of those. This is Stretch Blue. Um, Go Jitsu. Dinosaur stretches, stretches like um, I forget, what was the name of that character? Um, oh, I can't, I can't remember. He was a like a man, and you could stretch him. Stretch Armstrong, that's what it was. That's right. Stretch Armstrong. Okay. Oh, Legos! Wow, I don't know if I expected this. Um. I don't know if it's brand new. Oh, it's puzzle. It's a Lego puzzle. That is very cool. And you know, um, I was at the Sketcher store the other day and they had Lego um, dots shoes for girls. I thought that was pretty neat. Oh, here's some more woodsies minus a few pieces. So that's kind of sad, but it'll still sell. Star Wars. I have a feeling that this might be something that wasn't manifested. Is it, I don't even know what it is, to be honest with you. Um, customized chopper. For chopping, I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't know, but there it is. I'll figure it out later. Because I'm seeing these for the first time, just like you. Um, this is another Disney thing that'll go with the Disney's girl. Put them all together and charge barely anything for them. 
Well, this is what this is what I hate. I mean, it's not bad. But it is complete, just opened. This is the um, the mini brands, and all four pieces are in there. So, if you collect them all, then you then you can sell them for a pretty good amount of money. So anyway, but it's not wrapped anymore. It takes all the fun out of it. Somebody's looking for what they needed, I guess. Oh, Tonka. That's a nice truck, and it's metal. That's that's really nice. I'm sure I'm gonna get thirty dollars out of that easily. All right, I really have to dig down now. Um, Tommy Tippy Sippy Cup. No, nothing exciting about that. I apologize for whatever that just said. Um, yeah, this is a microphone for Christmas, and I hope that you did not just understand what it said. Here's a nice blanket, baby blanket with giraffes and zoo animals on it. It looks like it had just been opened out of the package. This is another little woodsies. Well, this is a, a really nice thing. I can probably uh, lock them all together and, and, and sell them all together. Uh, this is really nice. This is a, a fruit stand, I think. I'm thinking, yes, the farmer's market has all, has all the little food and everything in there. That's really cute. There are a few things down here on the bottom that are just the same, like dollar items that I already showed you. I'm not going to bother with those. The last thing in this box is, um, yet a, uh, another Nerf gun. So sometimes I'll lock them all together and do it that way. So that's that first box. And... Everything, I think that everything that I got probably came from their clearance, but everything is, seems to be new. So if it's new, it's sellable, as far as I'm concerned. Now the next box, Beyblade. Anybody who knows, knows the boys like their Beyblade. It's been opened. So I'll have to check it out to make sure that it's good, but that's Beyblade. What else did I get today? On the palette, I got two um, Little Tykes, first, my first slide. Those will be sold right away. I'm sure I just have to get them listed. And I got a um, Swirling Seas um, water table. With, you, can't, you can't find those anymore. You can pretty much ask whatever you want, um, and people will still buy them because you can't find them. So, I uh, can't remember, I got diapers today. Here's some training pants. So it was five, five bucks or something. And here's more of these items that um, I lot together for the consignment sale and just sell them like two for three dollars, something along that line. Now my granddaughter is going to want this one. Is it, because I just bought her one and asked me where it is. Don't know. So this would be like the fourth one I bought in the few weeks that she's been here. But when I'm only paying pennies on the dollar, it doesn't really hurt as bad. Uh-oh. I'm glad that she didn't see this. Um, this is a LOL smartwatch camera and game. See that? And it appears to be open, but everything is still where it's supposed to be. So maybe they just tried to look inside of it and it was just too hard. But um, yeah, that'll be uh, that'll be sold because ask me how many watches I've given that little, that little girl and where they are. I mean, I literally just bought her kitty cat headphones. She went to another family member's house because she's visiting here from Houston. She went to another family member's house. I'm like, we're, uh, and then she went to another one. Then she went to another one that I finally got her back. I'm like, where's your headphones? Oh, her electric scooter that I have, it's it's out there somewhere too. So this is um, the Falcon 
Winter Soldier. It's probably a good item. Captain America. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is Unsolved Case Files board game. It, um, it seems to have been open, so I'll check it out before I do anything with it. Party in the Elevator. This is hilarious because this is what my granddaughter used to always say. Um, FGTV. So she probably would want that too if she saw it. But you can't make money if you're constantly giving things away. I don't know. Oh, these are um, free to baby Wendy's for um, babies who have gas. Um, they sell really well. I don't need to say anything else. That's all. Crocodile Dentist. A very small game of Crocodile Dentist. Another one. Here is Play-Doh Slime Cloud and Foam. Has been opened, so I'll have to see if there's been grubby little hands in there or not. Um, another book missing something. It might be in there. Coloring book, activity book, something like that. Go right back into the Disney um, lot. Perfectly cute baby. This has been torn up really good. So if there's a baby in there, which I'm not sure there will be, um, I don't know what I'll do with it. Maybe put it with the girls' lot or something. Um, there is a baby in here. There she is. These are ways for me to show you any of these little things. LOL. Now my guess is, is that it's been opened. Well, it's still sealed on the sides, but people open them at the store. It's not what they want, so they put it back in the package and then they don't buy it. Um, another thing for the Our Generation doll, looks like part of a radio studio, like a podcast maybe. Here is um, helicopter uh, sky, but sky is missing. And I might have one, so if that if I do, that would be awesome. Here's another one of the uh, LOL dolls, and it actually has a little. Um, no, this isn't the one. I thought this one had the record that actually plays. This was the hair flip. I don't know that much about them, but I know that my grandbaby loves them. Here's a water sprinkler, just a cheap water sprinkler, no big deal for that one. Um, here is some Legos. Legos are always, if you ever buy any liquidation, I definitely look for the Legos. Today I got one that was um, Legoland. Unfortunately, it's been opened. So, the, you know, instead of just sitting there and counting three, 1,336 pieces, I'll just sell it as is for a lower price. But, um, you know, people build them, I did it, and then they want to return them because now they want their money back because they built it. But this one appears to be sealed, and a lot of the city ones are, are retired now, so you have to scan those. But this is why it got put into the liquidation. Now... They refer to their liquidation as salvage. You'll, um, I don't know if you can see any stickers on these boxes, but um, salvage at Target just means that they no longer want it in their system, that they're ready to be done with it. So they um, salvage it, which is a like a tax thing. And then um, you'll see salvage stickers on stuff, but that doesn't mean there's something wrong with it. It just means that Target didn't want it anymore. 
So this Lego set is open and the bag is open inside too. That's so disappointing because you never, never know when you see them on your list. And I have a feeling I'm gonna find maybe a loose Lego or two. There's a baby shark um, bubble blower. That's a $2.50 item at the consignment sale. This is Cards Against Humanity. It looks like they've been, cards have been open. I don't know why they put them in the bag. Uh, oh, well, the only the torn, corner has been torn off of them. Like when somebody pulled it off. But Cards Against Humanity are um, uh, automatic, so. Okay, what is this? Fooster. Foos key ball. That does look complete. Some kind of a basketball type game. Just gotta be careful I don't lose all the parts. Okay, there's the first Lego that I'm finding. Don't know where it came from because this one's completely open. Really disheartening. Oh, guess what? That's where that one comes from because this one is open. Nijago. A lot of these are discontinued and retired. You did not see that. That is a blooper. That I hope I didn't break her. Darn it. Okay, let's finish this up and I'll check her. This is pickleball, I think. And it is very popular. Yeah, pickleball. Very popular. I'll get eight or ten dollars out of it. Um, this is a book that appears that it might be missing. Well, no, here it is. It's just folded wrong, is all. I'm sorry to take up your time by fixing it. The Alpha Train. Kids Baseball. See, people, I don't understand why people go in the store and they feel the need to open packages and then they don't even buy it. If you're gonna open something, be it something that you are gonna want, so you buy it. This one here, I can only I can tell you exactly what happened here. This is Matchbox. It's missing the exclusive one, so who can guess what happened to it? <coughs> right, a collector went in there, took the car, and just put it back on the shelf. No matter how you look at it, it's theft. It is total theft. I have, um, all in the bottom of this, I have loose Legos. Here's some more Beyblade. Another completely open Lego Ninjago. Oops. Hopefully I can salvage this stuff because I need it. Because that's, of course, how you make your money. But everything is open and stuff all over and here's a what, go go smart wheels that goes with the little track looks like some baby has been chewing on it in the store why do you let your babies chew on something where people's hands have been that doesn't make any sense but people do all kinds of things that i do not understand so um i was trying to think if there was any tips that i could give you um I did buy a couple other auctions, but I don't think they're very exciting. One is just a miscellaneous wrapped palette. Looks like Target's stuff that they took off of displays or whatever. I don't know what it is, but I'll be getting that next week. But um, don't be in a rush to buy something. If it doesn't look like it's right, 
you know, if it, if, if it, if you look in the pictures and the, the boxes show a bunch of just random dollar stuff and you see a lot of miscellaneous on your manifest, that's what you're getting. They're charging you $15 um, when you do your averaging and they're worth $1. So I wish I knew if they had any questions. All I can do is um, ask you to um, like this video and maybe subscribe. I don't I don't put videos up very often, but when I do, it would be nice if people could enjoy them. So like it, subscribe, maybe share it so I can get some more subscribers. Because uh, it, it, it doesn't help me that much because I'm not a big person, big uh, YouTuber, but it helps my, my heart to know that people are watching it. So anyway, take care, stay cool. Uh, my friend is up in Portland right now, which is where I wish I was with her, but it's only 97 here today, so I am not complaining. Bye from Vegas. Take care now and have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.